So the, the review can truth. Y'all peeps is who we ride it with. Kim trails instead of hip bells. Why the 99% is hella sick. We need an exit. This is the red alert. Our 911 emergency. We do this for the planet. Forget the currency of red alert. A 911 emergency. We need hip seeds to change the world's frequency. A red alert. A 911 emergency. We do this for the globe. That's backwards. Welcome to the Hip Hop Show. Man, this is what, episode 13? This is probably episode 13. Man, it's getting to us. Brother Fern. What's going on, mate? No on Prop 64, bro. No on legalization. Man, we went on a road trip this week. Yes, we did. That was a hell of a trip. Quite memorable. Quite memorable. Uh, it's like a blur. It I never is. got to talk about the Kushstock. The uh, you you asked me. I watched the last show. I said you you said how was a uh, Kushstock or how high times or one of them. And I yeah, I well, got all my answer it, and then I didn't answer it, and yeah. then we didn't answer the show, and I never played the clips. But from then, I, just, I know they're supposed to be boycotting the whole thing. So, what do you think was better? You went to both. Went to both. Kushstock was definitely better. Much better. I can tell you, it won't take much to knock high times <laughs> all the way down. Why is you that? you convince. Who is it? The L.A. Kush, whoever they are, L.A. Yeah. Kush and C.H.R. to uh, no longer have a stage over at High Times, and that's done. <laughs> you know, okay. they barely got Snoop on there. They had to, they had to get him on as uh, DJ Snoopadelic. That's the uh, diet budget version for those of you that don't know how the the game works. You Diet know? budget version. Of you know, there's all there's the, there's the, <laughs> you got you got the the walk on version where somebody just walks on, hits you with deuces, and be like, oh, Snoop was here. You know, then they got the, they got the budgets for that, and then you got the, uh, the, the DJ version. Then you got the uh, okay. So uh, that leads me to the question: How much did fucking Yes on sixty four pay him to do the uh, Yes on sixty four stuff the other day? Because that had me fucking hot, man. Man, I cussed out Dr. Dina today. Look, if you do some fuckery online, you, everybody knows what happens. I'm surprised some people ain't, ain't try to do more to me. I mean, two people were supposed to come over here and shoot me last week. Cowards. Man. You're crazy. I don't know who's not cowards. Pink Lincoln Extracts. Real ones. Man. This stuff is getting stressful. I don't want to go back and forth arguing about it touches medical, it doesn't touch medical. It does. Mm -hmm. okay. It says it right in there. It says it in there. You guys on the other side say it says it doesn't, but you won't grab that citation. The same citation that says this section doesn't touch medical, not this entire initiative doesn't. Because what's the second, second freaking, where's it at? The very second thing says, Currently legal in our state for medical use. The very, the very second thing. Bam. Okay. The people that regulate non-medical are also the people that regulate what? Medical. We don't need to be going back and forth. Okay. If you want to vote for it, vote for it. Okay. This whole back and forth thing, what it, what it really is about is just about logic. Okay? If I say some stupid stuff or it's a lie, okay, call me on it. Why did you say that? Okay? And then I'll explain why I said that. The people that really believe some false information, I, there's nothing we're going to gain from back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If you're on the no side, you don't get flipped to the yes side. It doesn't mechanically work that way. Okay? To vote for this thing, you have to ignore all the stuff we talk about. You have to ignore the stuff We for Warriors talks about. You have to ignore the stuff Dennis Prone talks about. Okay? I guess the question is, why is it that you're using it in the first place? I guess you got to ask yourself that and then read it. Well, I think, it is, it? I think probably most people probably are recreational users. Most people probably don't want to feel like they have to go hustle a doctor into getting yeah. a card. I can I get that. I think at the end of the day, I don't really promote recreational. 
yeah. use of cannabis. I believe all use is medical use. I don't believe that. There I is believe such that. A thing as recreation use. But when my little four year old brother ran up to my face, he's like blowing my face. I'm like, nah, bro. I'll fix your go kart. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a difference, you know. It's 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 still a new realm of science that we're not really delved into yet. It's it's still been illegal for a long time. A lot of the, I, you know, like I, I believe we should legalize all the testing surrounding cannabis so that we can actually figure out what it is that this plant is doing to our bodies before we actually worry about trying to get this legalized for a recreation. Okay, standpoint. what about the little old ladies that say, oh, you're using drugs? There'll always be that, you know. That's a generation that, that grew up with, with fear-mongering from, from being bashed into them from their parents, from the media at the time, even before the media. It's, it's just something that's imprinted. Eventually, though, I'm excited for, the, for our generation. Once we're the, the elders, looking for, for, everyone's looking up to us now. I'm excited to see what it is that happens. Okay, you, you brought up part, a point that I'm scared about. Okay, um, we have people like Eddie Lip that are locked up. Mm. You wrote CCHI with Jack, who's no. dead. You got Dennis. Free Eddie who's got some health issues going on. And uh, I had somebody argue with me that he didn't even write Prop 215, something about he wasn't a lawyer and some other nonsense that like what? could belittle him as the best as possible way they could figure out. Hmm. And added in there that I'm, what do I add to the industry and I'm just looking for freebies or some yeah. shit. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm a fucking patient. What kind of fuck boy yeah. are you? But you see, know what I mean? Like, I'm getting to where I, I want to cut these fucking people's heads off. <laughs> and it's like, but see, no, I need to fucking like I said, take a break from the shit. Always be I need this election to be over with. If you want to vote for it, go vote for the shit. The worst thing I can do to you is let you have what this does to you. But see, no, because that's... That doesn't make time, sense. People aren't going to realize what it is that's going to happen to them until after it's happened. And people will regret it, you know? And then they'll look back and be like, oh, what happened, what happened, what happened? And that's when... You know what kills Everybody me is these know. people that I hit up, I'm like, hey fam, uh, we need you to uh, help us out with this thing, it's kind of important. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know. Uh. But then, now that it's getting closer to the election, we got the bandwagon stuff, like I'm okay with everybody bandwagoning to know on Prop 64, because we kind of need that. But it's interesting, the people that I asked for help with this, that blew me off, like in a disrespectful way, are coming around now posting up stuff and it's like I appreciate that but it's like motherfucker no, why all, is it that, that's that, all that they, they're being though. dicks when I ask them you know what I mean because like I said it, it sometimes it takes that push before you can somebody actually questions themselves you know that's that's one thing that I'm finding is that a lot of people don't have the ability to self assess that's one reason why a lot of people don't realize Man, their medical people use. are stuck on fucking selfishness or some mm -hmm. shit but you know, at least they're promoting the message, and that's all that we need to do is to yes, get more people. Yes, I do to appreciate that. That's like why I want to defunk on the camera here because, like, I couldn't ask him to come on to the show because of his nature. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But he knows damn well I want his help with this No on sixty four stuff. He yeah. knows the drill, the script, all of it. And see, and that's exact. That's a perfect example. There's a lot of people that are involved in the industry, even though he's at a, at a different level. He, People don't we, want to come out. People don't want. Well, they're not this. paying attention to anything the same, other than the, same, the ads on the, the TV. The thing I said the last show, like about what Be Real does, he just gets in and out real quick. Says vote, vote no on the thing, register to vote, and then the people hit him with the same nonsense they come at me with. But he just is like, ah, oh, I didn't even like that. He doesn't have time for that. Yeah, he's like, ah, it ain't. And it's like that's all I need from D Defunk too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like the same thing with like little draws. I just need you to do the same thing. You know, I get it. If you, uh, Snoop Dogg wants to be like, yes, I'm 64 now. You want to team up with your homie. But your big homie, Bo Rock, he already knows the drill. We just want you to help. Okay? We just want everybody to say, vote no on Prop 64 because medical marijuana is what made all this legal. The patience is what made this thing legal. Okay? Not let's go get drunk. Not let's go see how high we can get. You know, not let's do fifth, you know, how big of a dab can we do? That's not what made this thing legal. Okay. Have all the fun you want to have. Party all you want to party. Throw all the kickbacks you want to throw. Just don't forget your history. <laughs> okay. And when the doors get kicked in at these events, it's us. 
that saves the day. Okay, look, in so many years, the people like Dennis, these other cats are not gonna be around. It's us. Yep. Okay? Yep. The people that are going out registering people to vote, digging through this, marking this stuff up, the people that are making these stickers, people that are doing the little art, making the signs. That's the people that carry this message, okay? The problem is, okay, I don't, I don't mean to use You Ain't Ready Crew in a disrespectful way in this moment, okay? The problem is you have people in a situation, in a position, where they're the equivalent to like the next generation, okay? The people that are walking on the scene right now that are just today thinking about starting a company, just today thinking about getting a weed card, okay? I know you ain't credit crew just didn't start today, but at the same time, they're relatively new onto the scene, and we want you guys to, to not forget about what opened the doors for all this, you know? We see, everywhere we see you ain't ready crew, we, <clears throat> we see an absence of, why aren't you guys pushing the message for no on Prop 64, you know? It's just, it's like a void. It's not a negativity type of thing. It's like, we just want you guys to do your part. But it's, it's, we're not, I'm not picking on you ain't ready crew type. I'm using an example. I'm using little draw as an example, okay? I don't, I don't hate these people or nothing like that. It's, well, a point it's, it's I, would, I would like to make is, is I'm all for, I understand no on 64, no on AUMA, and people need to, to you know, go read 215, look up 215. See how much time, it's like reading an uh, Instagram post or something on Facebook. It takes mm -hmm. no time at all. Yeah. Try, try sitting down and reading 64. But besides that, people need to start promoting no on legalization. Because when people are in those voting booths and when they're looking at that, that's all they're seeing. Well, legalization and decriminalization and rescheduling. Well, I mean, all, it's all that's fancy a whole, terms. That's, that's, that's all other thing. But for right now. That's a, it's, a, it's a step that, that they're, they're not ready to digest that part. Yeah. I can understand we're, that. But when the, they're in the booth the and they're digesting we, what's reading, we, what they're reading. We need the people to to unify. Mm -hmm. That's the part where I'm getting in trouble by the people above me. Mm -hmm. They're saying, hey, you were copping on everybody, but it's like, how do I shake them up? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I realize my frustration is, just, we, got, we got the caller ready? Call we probably got the Moomoo crew ready. Man, I don't know. I'm over here talking about what's negativity. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't the mess. Caller, how are we going? Hey, how's it going? Is this Moo Moo Crew? <laughs> hey, this is Paul Richard from the Moo Moo Crew. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, where do we begin? Where got, do we begin? That's a great question. I got your video. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna play that? You wanna start with that, and then we'll we'll start right. the discussion. Uh, sounds like a great plan. Kev, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's play this video. Are you are you guys watching online? Uh, yeah. All right, all right. Go ahead. Just pisses on me. I see right through their corporate ways. I wanna leave a soul on their road. California people, can't you see? Prop 64 just pisses off me. I see right through their corporate ways. They wanna leave us broke while they're broke. I seen it with my own eyes. Silent corporate takeover, high ticket dollar price, secret sleepovers. I see the biz and tech millionaires are moving in behind closed doors. I'm scared shitless friends. I see the sharks smell blood and they're moving in the water. Don't know anything about raising Canada's daughters. All they see is money and ways to suck us dry. These motherfuckers ain't getting high. Prop 64, illegal to share Why would you do that if you're compassionate and care? You wouldn't It's just a way to be a dick And keep medicine away from veterans and the sick California people, can't you see? Prop 64 just pisses off me I see right through their corporate ways They wanna leave us work while they're all paid California people, can't you see? Prop 64 just pisses off me I see right through their corporate ways They wanna leave us broke while they're they're all paid. Oh, that is so dope. 
Was... <laughs> <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> Introduce yourself to us, please. Let us know who you are. Um, I'm just some girl that is concerned about what's going on with our industry, and I'm pretty scared that uh, Prop 64 is going to decimate small farmers and change the industry into something that nobody really wants except for maybe all the people that want to make all the money off of it. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. I really like your song, though. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know, from the from the very beginning of this uh, this whole situation, in the back of my head, that, uh, what's that Easy e song that, uh, Cruising down the street. I had this thing on my head, like banging on Prop 64, and back in the back of my head, like like the Easy E song. So it's like it's dope to hear hear somebody did, did actually made a a specific uh, Prop 64 song. So, uh, <laughs> I love it, I love it. And then like that's what the purpose of my show is for is specifically for no on Prop 64. So it couldn't couldn't be any better. I'm, I'm yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I'm glad you're getting the message out. <laughs> For real. It's super important. People don't understand that. Yeah, it seems like pretty much everything they're trying to say they're going to do for us is pretty much the opposite of what they're going to do for us. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? It doesn't touch medical part. That one kills me the most. There's so many parts that kill me. I don't even know where to begin. It, it uh, makes okay, me... Let me ask you. let me ask you something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there a way to talk about this thing without it turning like completely negative and making you hating life? <laughs> um, Everybody I know that talks about it just fucking it just makes us feel like hell afterwards, you know? Oh well, it's not all gloom and doom, you know. Yeah, we still got a fighting chance. Talk about it, Brian. Now we can we can get it out. You know, everybody I've I've talked to though, they're more concerned about 2018 and what it is that's going on with Jerry Brown and everything he signed in, you know, even with the micro farming law that he signed in for cultivation. So, I mean, people right now are more focused on that than it seems on this, but people don't understand how this backs up MMRSA and everything it is that he's got going on. And so when it comes to it, you know, yes, those are important. Yes, your county laws are important, but with this passing, any, any of that can change at any moment. They can write anything in and anything can be affected at a county no, I level. Was, I was but trying at a to state level as well. I was trying to figure out, uh, the, we were up there at the same time that they were, they were up there. Uh, Mubu crew? Yeah. Yeah, we, we showed up right after, I think right afterwards. I was really fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really, like, time, the way time kind of went that whole, so many days, I don't really, it's hard for me yeah. to sequence that. Those are Omega Extracts. Those, oh yeah, shout those, out to man. Omega Extracts. <laughs> <laughs> and we ate like 30,000 milligrams in like three days wow there was like i've never like reviewed a product with so many positive reviews from so many people all at like once it was nice <laughs> like the very next day it was like 15 10 people were like hitting me up all like hey uh those yeah. pills man <laughs> it was a pretty pretty irony situation there <laughs> mm -hmm. definitely okay so where were you guys at? How did we? How did I miss you? I remember being at the table eating a lot. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there being um, a reporter from somewhere. Yeah, no, dude. We, uh, I think we showed up right after they they had, they were there for a video. They were doing a video that they were shooting with Dennis. You don't, you don't remember Dennis's dance moves? Don't remember that. You're me way medicated. You guys were in the living room then. <laughs> I think so. I don't well, remember. We were uh, all over the place. You guys did a really, really good job. I can tell job, you though. what I was trying to do, but... Well, no, I better this, not. Dang, dude, crazy. I need to catch up to wherever you guys were at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I gotta be quiet. <laughs> Let's talk about how do I get there. <laughs> oh, I know, huh? Oh, so... Okay, let me ask you something. I'm messing up here. To give me give me a couple of things uh, real quick about Prop 64 that you just can't stand. Um, well, the part where the legislature can change anything without voter consent is Section 10. probably one of the scariest okay. things. Like, it's pretty. I think that it leaves it open to I don't know anything, and then we don't get to say anything about it. True. 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 Which is really scary. Um, I'm really concerned 
that uh, people age 18 to 20 aren't going to be able to take their medicine. That's just ridiculous. Uh, they can go to jail. Uh, they can lose their student funding. Mm -hmm. I don't like how the government has the ability to uh, do the do what they did to them with the tobacco. Just overnight, they said, "Okay, it's illegal for you, and uh, you got to be 21 to get blunts now." And then uh, the same paperwork says, "Oh, but if you're in the military and you're 18, you're okay to get cigarettes." And uh, that leads me to wonder about the people that are 20 that have a job that were selling the blunts. Are you fired now? And it's like. That brings us to the Section 10 issue that you just mentioned about the legislature's ability to change what's in Prop 64 where you no longer get a say-so in it. And that's like, what, what's the point of voting on something if it's voting to take away your ability to vote? That's essentially that what that is. It's very, very concerning. Mm -hmm. And so you got, you got these people like Dr. D Man, Dr. Dina, she kills me. She's over here telling me uh, she's on the fence and playing devil's advocate as she's promoting Prop 64. Hmm. Killing me. These people, they are sit there and say it doesn't touch medical, um, all, the, all this money to go to schools and all this stuff, and it's like, oh, you're killing me with all this half-reading stuff. Getting your, these people are getting their voter, gui voter guides and turning into experts on this thing in like 10 minutes. Hmm. Interesting. So. I guess the part that's been frightening me the most lately is the fact that like I said, persons under 21 years of age may be used by peace officers in the enforcement of this division and to apprehend licenses or employees or agents of licensees or other persons who sell or furnish marijuana to minors. So basically they're going to be setting up decoys, pay people like they're saying 18 to 21. You know that you know the sessions are still going to be going on. Black market's still going to be going on, even if this passes. People are still going to be making their money because that's what they're getting into it for right now is, is, is a huge money industry. So now they're going to be taking kids that are also want to go, you know, they want to go to the dab shows mm -hmm. and everything. And so they're going to be using them as decoys now. Going in there, they're going to be taking dabs from all these places. It's like It's like the raves back in the day. You know, you show up, you say you, they, they send you a I'm text not go an to hour them. before, before they show up. Them. Well, no, they're not safe. But that's what I mean is this, this industry is already kind of promoted a bad image for, for I, us. We're, we're, at a, we're at an era right now. And the cannabis community, where that shit's over with, it's an industry now, mm -hmm. and it's like we're seeing the fruition of everybody doing what they thought they wanted to do. This, yeah. You're getting the results of all that I told you so stuff yeah. that you're, you you thought was the best thing. It's the popping. wild west. Everybody's you doing know? anything. So right now is like it's almost like this election is almost like the deadline of the wild west, literally. I don't know. I think I think if this passes, it's just beginning. Because, I mean, that's, that's a whole other ball game. Right now, people don't realize the freedoms that they have. It's medically legal, and yet people are trying to legalize it. Well, the it. direction that they're going with it is to kill the medical game in general. Yeah, but, I mean, like you they're like trying to, people They're trying to that. get the public to set the whole situation up to say, oh, we don't need the medical situation. Nah, that's... We were gaming everybody. We're, yeah. we're really just trying to get high. How, that's how long, what they're trying to do to us. How long does it take us? somebody to go in there and, and get your medical card, honestly? I've seen one person get turned down. I've never, seen, I've never seen it. Before. I seen it happen. For real. He was retarded, but. I mean, but then, at the same point in time, what what is he smoking for? That's that's the thing. People, like I said, people have the they don't seem to have an ability to self assess. Mm -hmm. And if anybody actually sits down and looks at the first time you smoked, why it was you smoked, what it was that you actually got from the effects from it, what it was that actually make you come back to I, it. I think that might be an argument for recreational for Pop 64. I don't know. I don't know. Everybody I've Me talked personally, to, was, I was the last one in my aspect. group. I was like, you guys are all dicks. Why are you eating everything up? Pass that here. Uh-huh. Okay. That's, that's me. And so you smoked it. Okay, so maybe it might have been whatever peer pressure that got you to. But what, why, what made you continue? What, what was it that you enjoyed about it? Today? Not today, then. Then? At that time. At the very first I, time I, you smoked. I quit for like 12 years or so after that. The very first time you smoked, you never smoked again for 12 years? Not in that moment. Okay. And I so smoked 12, for maybe a couple years in that in that. Okay, and realm. so then very next time, the very so very first time you smoked. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about the second time. Second why, time, why'd you smoke probably would have been stealing parents' weed, but stealing why? mids from your parents. Why? That's the next episode. No. That's the next. Episode. <laughs> I'm not talking about why you no, stole it. Why did like, I want why it? Did to you have smoke? fun. To smoke to with some fun. girl, probably. Okay, so you wanted to relax. You wanted to kick back, right? Yeah. That, okay. How many how many prescription drugs you know on the market right now that are for that? 
prescription drugs I don't believe are for relaxing. Yeah, but you know how many people take something just a muscle relaxer or something on, on the market just so that they can relax or have an edge when they come home from work. But the purpose of to be in a position to have one is you have to have something broken with you Medically and you have to go to a hospital the, to point, get that My point to begin by with. saying any of that was the fact that it was still a medical use. Of, of how it is, regardless of how extensive the medical use is, and that's the problem is that people think that oh, I have to have a missing limb, or I have to have something like MS, or I have to have an autoimmune disease. I can't disease. eat now without it. Okay, and see that's that's another huge thing is that we don't know medically what it is that these are doing to uh, the endocannabinoid system is a regulatory system in your body, and so just just the act of getting high, there's CB1 and CB2 receptors. And science is coming out now that if you flood your CB1 receptors, which are more primarily in your brain, mm -hmm. with all this THC, that CB1 receptors start shutting down. These are receptors that are responsible for regulating your body, eat, your, your, your appetite, things like that. And mm -hmm. so even just by smoking too much of something, now it is, that, like you said, now it is you could be developing issues to where it is that your system is not capable of regulating itself. These are medical issues that people need to address. Oh, I think we so, lost the call. You got that guy? Yeah. I heard him doing something. They'll call, they'll call back. But no, it's just it, the industry right now is really, really sketchy. It's really hairy. You know, there's a lot of things that need to be regulated, but this isn't the way to do it. The, okay, look. The problem is the selfishness and the money driven part. Okay, the problem is they're forgetting the part that opened up the doors for it. And that's what my complaint is. And that's the whole thing why I do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it wasn't that, I would. I wouldn't do any of this. Mm -hmm. But what do you what do you mean they they forgot? Who who forgot? The people. Okay, this is a recreational bill. Mm -hmm. So the arguments for it are all recreational arguments. Mm -hmm. Okay, the arguments for marijuana in general are all medical arguments. Okay, it's two fucking ball games. Mm -hmm. And so I, if you I were can to understand. argue for alcohol to or alcohol to be legal right now mm. you will get to say there's a medical aspect because you'll get to say beer puts on weight for skinny people <laughs> you know <laughs> okay my grandma got told that by her do her doctor drink a beer a day or whatever but at the same time you're gonna get told they ain't gonna fly mm -hmm. for but by who a whole system by the everyone the everyone the people you get Register voters, the people mm -hmm. that sign everything, the people that have the money, the people that do the, the people that have the money the would be the ones saying no. no everyone, see, that's literally everyone. Everyone. You I can't just, argue. I'm just worried it about to be legal again today. Like if you try to argue tobacco, but to, to be me, legal it's already today. legal. Medically, it's it's legal, and for people who are even are recreationally, like I said, if you sit down and you think about it, why it is that you started consuming cannabis? Mm -hmm. Seriously, think about it. But that that's not the issue for. What opened the door for legalization, though? Well, no, I'm just we were we were on the point of the fact that everyone's starting to say that I'm there's okay if people want to get high. Not medical. I'm not gonna go and register voters because you want to go get high. Mm -hmm. That's just where I stand with. Mm -hmm. it. But to some people, they look at it like that. To me, I I can still say I'm to gonna people protect that, that that that's not just why the it is medical side. The mm -hmm. best I know how. And I'm gonna read this damn thing. And I'm not gonna fall for just the face value stuff that the bandwagon people are just trying to be cool with, you know? Yeah. And uh, that's where I'm at with it. Man. Mm. I think that pill is starting to kick in. About ready for smoke break here? Play some music? We, have, we lose the we lose caller? She shouldn't have a call back? I'll call her back. Shout out Moo Moo Crew. That's, that song is awesome. That that's, song was dope. Awesome. Thank you, Moo Moo Crew. Yeah, thank you. We a little faded, so. We a little awesome. Real tonight. Yeah, play, play some music. Play some good music. Just play it. Shit. Play the music. Who's How many it, times who's I gotta say, play some shit?
lawyers smoke, DAs smoke, judges smoke. So what the fuck have I told? I told business owners they smoke. I got this big cushion in my pocket. Me riding around Compton, Kiki Lo going shopping. I'm like pay him off to stay mobbing. I'm too cold, she's too cool. Weed and bitches, she's too smooth. Bright skies, tight eyes, and leave you choked with them five eyes. Just like an engine Ain't going nowhere Hear voices in my head And I'm listening No nigga, I ain't sleeping Resting my eyes and waiting For the next blunt So high that I'm about to lose my patience Damn, man, you tripping Fucking with my zone Knock, knock Who is it? Dow Dow who? Dow tone Cordless like phones On remote So I roam With no rollover Long distance What am I on? That Bombay never found my hammer, my fucking brains like brimstone. Tito Santana, jalapeno, flying purple, homegrown. Got me so twisted, lifted that people need to buzz off. Smoking spin shuttles, rockets, yo, I'm about to blast off. Pass all them clouds, my aroma is loud. Once I take off, the smell don't come down. I do really love it, love it, my herbal cannabis cologne. Inhaled by niggas, niggas, I just wanna be left alone. Not bothered by you, by you niggas, always fuck up the zone. Come in with nothing, nothing, try to pass you up on your own. Grab the blunt, put it out, annoy you just like this. Cause I'm so high And call them in the morning. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never harm me. Keep talking. 
smoking no sticks, no seeds up in my weed. The prettiest penny, what it cost me? It up. I hope you got a couple iron lungs in your chest because this right here is not a test. I told you this right here is not a test. I told you this right here is not a test. Listen, I might do a hundred dabs. Get the nail hot, bitch. Got the finest slabs. Throw your flowers in the air. It's up for grabs. Now your face getting tight. I'm cutting shit with that. We get them high like the Holy Ghost. Batman smoking Kush, thinking holy smokes. Got you faded out while your homies joke. Get, get the prescription, hit the lab while your homies choke. <laughs> Yo, Ab, keep the engine running They surround the weed like it's the wagons and the Indians coming Funky feels on the tip, come on, hit it Taking out your suckers and you don't know how I did it hey. Throw me out a window cause I'm real stone David's new Goliath when he threw me out his fucking dome Ouch. Brick top, you get mopped and I can guarantee No one's gonna say a thing, hear a pin drop Sticks and stones may break my bones But words can never harm me no sticks, no seeds up in my weed The prettiest penny, what it cost me? It up. I hope you got a couple iron lungs in your chest Because this right here is not a test I told you This right here is not a test I told you This right here is not a test table got all the drugs and loot under the table my guns pointed at you it's a robbery bitch and it's illegal to snitch cause the drugs and his money here came from a hit the body pass bitch i'ma separate cause the cops in this town they investigate and they love to hate a young up and come up Fuck that, hit him with the Stone Cold Stunner. I'm a young gunner and I came to play. You can find me in the streets up in San Jose. This is my city, bitch, and I'm born and raised. I don't fuck with those deals that take a couple of days. Some niggas out here, they be fucking around. Be careful with me, I'll put you six feet down. Cause it's step by step, now I'm close to the crown. Trying to fuck this bitch and she said I'm allowed. We got us, bitches, bills, bound to kill. Don Low Will. Put you six feet down, down. Put you six feet down. Damn. We got us, bitches, bills, bound to kill. kill, kill. Dollar will. Put you six feet will. down, down. Put you six will. feet down, down. Logic. Is the armory of reason I'm pushing hella snow as if it's winter season When I hear the walkie it's affirmative Code blue motherfucker ever heard of it? Blapping like I'm in the cinema and it's action Pulp fiction jacking back like I'm Jackson Know the tactics, do Jewish practice So you miscount Louis be full, I push and pull, fuck a discount Network, I raise the net worth and prepare So many connects, I know when to buy and sell my shit. We got us, bitches, bills, bound to kill Don Low Will Put you six feet will. down, down Put you six feet will. down, down We got us, bitches, bills, bound to kill Don Low Will Put you six feet down, down Put you six feet down, down You one of those kids that be hating now But when my boy's on the streets, you'll be flipping now Take your girl out in a place reserved Plotting with the dumb shit you never heard White boys to my left, call them good or white We don't fuck around, nigga, shoot on sight Game 150 and I said goodbye Dumbass nigga didn't know I lied Buy one, then you're gonna get one free Stealing all this weed, it's a job to me You got some flow, but it's been done before The same old shit don't get the same old skull We got us, bitches, bills, bound to kill Don Low Will Put you six feet down, down Put you six feet down, down We got us, bitches, bills, bound to kill Don Low Will Put you six feet down, down Put you six feet down, down. Going on, but I'ma keep going hard. I 
stay up, you stay down Silver Mac runs this town I don't know what's going on But I'ma keep going hard I'ma go as fast as I can And you know I'm gonna It's been a long win. time grinding A long time thinking A long time hitting the ladder Tweaking these beats Going hard for weeks For days in the haze Wake up and blaze Sit on my porch and catch some rays I maintain my game Put my focus on my money Coming up quick And you may find a funny That I would be the one to shine I'm a hometown hustler Minimizing crime RJ from the Bay Just 10 minutes away from San Jose Sunny Bells where I late today Okay, simple back records Changing the game Simple back records Remember the name, peace I don't know what's going on But I'ma keep going hard I stay up, you stay down Silver back runs this town I don't know what's going on But I'ma keep going hard My next move when I cruise in the Nissan Playing your favorite song, yes yeah, my song I'm killing shit, balling out, smash full silver back Makes it real, so you can call me the coach Me and my team in victory, doing gigs like Roach But he sucks, I know I'm better I'm pretty clever, I don't care whether or not You can get your stop, cause I won't till I get my guap Not your cops, shit's hot I'm home, but I go off And they gon' put me to the test Compared to me, you like stress I've been making moves, I've been making moves, bitch, I've been making moves, I've been making moves, bitch, I've been making moves, I've been making moves, bitch, I've been making moves, I've been making moves, bitch, I've been making moves, I've been making moves, bitch, I've been making moves, I've been making moves, bitch, I've been making moves, I've been making moves, bitch, I've been making moves on the news. Never lose for the stews. If you do, use a bitch. Silver back. Third verse, freestyle, that's a fact, I'm point, going in fast, always hard, don't even gotta kick in the beat, but I gotta go on BPM measure, you know I got a lot of pleasure, and you know what I do, is better. This has been a presentation of Silverback Records. That's the thing to do. Literally, yeah, yeah, bust yeah. a nut in a bitch every time. Right, hey, tell her, I got some wax cleaner for you. That's a good ass motherfucking <laughs> job. <laughs> for real. Cap popping, top twisting, blunt rolling. It's the one and only, y'all listen. Big smoking, brain blowing, still choking. Now, did I get your attention? It's a celebration. Hope you're ready to feast. Every single blunt in this bitch is obese. All we in here is monster straight beast. Jason in the Argonauts, it's the Golden Fleece. I told you from the jump, you punk, I pop caps. Medical facility bottle, so dig that. Any way you want it, my nigga, they got that. Individual strand, loving the contraband. I get mine direct, don't need no middleman. World palm on my hand, weed on my demand. Queen Mary Jane, green across the land. Me and my fam, we pop in them caps. Get a whiff of Roma, they won't miss that medical gift. We pop in them caps. Make the smell jump out and scream out in your face, say it now. We pop in them caps. Get a whiff of Roma, they won't miss that medical gift. We pop in them caps. Still jump out and scream out in your face, see it now, we poppin' them cats. Cap poppin', top twistin', blunt rollin', yep, you should know who it be. Big smoking, brain blowing, still choking, yep, it's the Funk 420. Early in the morning, wake and bake in effect. Cannabis my cup, that's the breakfast of champs. Hustlers, rappers, ballers, and all that. Everyday people too, nigga, they pop caps. Medicate their mental, physical well-being. All in their day's work, nigga, so keep smoking. Elevated thoughts, got my brain gone. Cloud nine on my four to ozone. Big bad whoop, huffing and puffing. Little red right in the hood, and she blowing. All the way to grandma's house. Packing bottles up in the kitchen because she know we popping them caps. Get a whiff of Roma, they won't miss that medical gift. We poppin' them caps. Make the smell jump out and scream out in your face, say it now. We poppin' them caps.
Get a whisper from it, they won't miss that medical gift we poppin' them cash. Make them still jump out and scream out in your face, see it now, we poppin' them cash. Not from the nine milli, I know you heads feel me. This Cali weed is hella bomb and real sticky. Mr. Wake and Bake, drinking Irk and Jerk with a few bad bitches that'll twerk for perks. Tricking is for you lame, but pimping is in my blood. I never pay for pussy, but might share my bud. Marijuana? Now that bitch I love, she's just a plant, man, she's not a drug. It just so happens when you go to light her up, your body starts to feel all tingly as fuck. So my advice to you is to approach with caution. Too big of an inhale, then you'll be coughing. So if you feel me, hold your blunts up. I'm the type of nigga that smoke weed so damn much. I went and bought a rest to breathe on bud. To smoke the best weed, my nigga, that ever was. Poppin' them caps. Man, welcome back. <laughs> we had to take a smoke break, man. We were stressed out. So Bernard called in. Is he back? We got a caller calling. Caller, how are you? Moo Moo Crew. Hello, hello? Call. Moo Moo Crew, what up, what up? Hey, what up? <laughs> Sorry we got disconnected there. <laughs> oh, it's all right, it's all right. We got about, we got about five minutes left in the show before I do my uh, pay the bills and stuff, you know. So uh, so how are you? And uh, talk to us for a minute. Well, thanks so much for having us. And uh, we just wanted to say that uh, we just want the people that work so hard and build up the industry, all the mom and pops and all the people that work so hard to build it up during prohibition. We just want them to not be shut out of their own industry. And we just want everyone to have access to their medicine for a price that they can afford and for all the small old farmers to survive. And we're just so glad that you're talking about this. And thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, if you ever make it back down to L.A., you got to come see us. You gotta come see us. The show, whether or not the show's going on or whatever, we'll we'll link up somewhere. Show. Yeah. Nice. That sounds good. <laughs> we really appreciate your music, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing the shit out of it and reposting it and sharing it all over. So uh, I'll get it out there. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. It's much appreciated. I'll uh, I'll send you a link to our SoundCloud too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for calling in, and thank you for being part of the hip hop show, ladies. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. And where can right. people find you online, your social medias and stuff? Um, we have an Instagram. We're just moving through on Instagram. We don't have a Facebook, um, but we have a SoundCloud, so you can find us. Moo Crew on SoundCloud and uh, Hell Richter on SoundCloud also. Okay. Um, you need some more tunes? Yeah, <laughs> Get yes. you through the day. Yes, <laughs> yes. We've got two more shows after today, so uh, definitely... Uh, Feel free to call back. All right, perfect. Well, thank you. Well, have, a good, have a good day, ladies. Yeah, many blessings. <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> you Bless too. Me. No, I'm Prop 64. Where you at? No on legalization. Mm. <laughs> All right, we got another caller. Hey, what's up, Jimmy? Bernard, what's going on, man? How's your night? Fucking stressful. Oh. Man, you know, uh, a couple people were supposed to shoot me last week. They didn't show up, so I'm still here, so, you know. Yeah, I was uh, the way that it is the business. Fucking cowards. So, yeah. Bernard, we went on a road trip, man. I forgot a brother Fern here. Uh, talk to us about the road trip. What you want, what's on your mind? Uh, you know, it's a beautiful time up in San Francisco this time. It was actually pretty nice. A lot different than what I thought it would be, and we got some good 20, 24 hours of um, good thinking going on. Some good think takes, some good brains in the business right now. Yep. A lot of good things going on, uh, but the, yeah, anti prop sixty four. We've got an eighty six. That shit, it's done. Mm-hmm. It needs to go. So um, we just had a Moo Moo crew. Uh, they they made a, a no on prop sixty four song. I don't know if you if you uh, caught it yet, but uh, it was on. The, they were they called into the show. We played it on the show, and uh, they mm-hmm. were they were up there. But somehow in my uh, in my uh, fadedness, I didn't get to hang out with them. I'm gonna stab them with my fiskers. They're awesome. Nice, <laughs> it's nice. one of the best lines of the song I've ever heard in my life. Nice, nice, nice. 
So anyway, yeah, the, um, it, it seems pretty good going right now. A lot of people are getting the information and the message about the Prop 64 business. Uh, people are getting their eyes opened up right now. And I think a few more of these town-style meetings, I was at the debate a couple of weeks ago in Sacramento, and, you know, there were the people there, after I think the people who were representing Prop 64 said their piece, uh, we had a lot more people on our side of the ball than they did on theirs. I definitely know that. Oh, the, um, you're talking about the, uh, the lecture, the debate from when Letitia and Sean and uh, them were up, up there? Yeah, that was the one up in Sacramento. And I, I still haven't seen the it, footage of that. I'm so behind on my, on my, on my, on my videos. No, I haven't seen that one either. That's, that's supposed <laughs> yeah. to be a pretty good one. There's a, you know, there, 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 there are some arguments right now that a lot of the people are making, which are actually uh, not true. And, the, and I think the biggest thing I learned this last weekend was uh, that, you know, the voters are confused right now. People are absolutely confused. because well, they're, just it, They're pushing it, false information that it doesn't touch medical and the taxes and all that kind of crap. But, the, but it's because they believe it when they're pushing the message. And it's like. Well, it's not just that, though. Like, like we were discussing. Go, go, well, he was about to tell us. Tell us. Well, go ahead. Tell us what you were about to say. Oh, I'm going to say the most dangerous liars in the world are the ones that believe they're telling the truth. That's mm-hmm. what I was getting at, and uh, that's why I'm getting tired of uh, the uh, debating with me because uh, I'm not a spokesperson. I'm not the lawyer in the courtroom. I'm that dude that just wants like do you in over this thing i'm not trying to like argue with you about it i read it i understand it i checked in with all the people that fucking know what's up with this thing that are smarter than i am about it i don't have any bias in this thing to sell you anything or to hustle you in anything so all this all this crap people are talking about i'm a prohibitionist or my bias or all this fucking ignorant arguments that people have for this stuff well yeah and and the fact is the, the fact still remains is that nobody should go to jail for a plant Yep. At the end of the day, we all can agree with that. And even the people who are uh, wanting, to in, wanting to put in, wanting to put in the criminal penalties, and they're wanting to go ahead and and proceed that way. You know, most of those people even believe that nobody should go to jail for a plant, but it's an avenue for them to get people in the system. I told so Doctor. I told Doctor Dana law, today. Before and the way it's written, it is so confusing to people and to the common everyday person, oh, because so they think they're doing the community, the cannabis community, a favor by voting to legalize. When in actuality, they're doing us one of the biggest disservices by voting yes on this on that initiative. And that's something that once people understand, and and, and moreover, once people get the the language of it down and understand that it's nothing but bureaucracy and it's nothing but uh, a community of people that are going to be hurt by legislation. They, they, a lot of people are voting no, and that's, that's actually a good thing. I'm, I'm in a very conservative area right now, and the people who are actually thinking they were under the false pretense that they were going to be giving us a good vote, uh, now that they know about it, a lot of people are just turning around and saying no. That's good. Which is what needs to happen. Yeah. That's just the easier way to and that's, keep it. That, that's a big point too. Is like like you know we were discussing is the fact that all the big people that are promoting it right now, all the TV, all the people that are backing it, are the, the pharmaceutical companies, Monsanto, you know the the big you know tobacco companies. They're the ones that are paying. Do you do you know anybody that's got some money up there that can uh, pay for a TV commercial against this thing? You know we can, we need to go through our community. I'm pretty sure we can scrape it up. Mm-hmm. I think our community. I think our community. Uh, out of all of them. And, and, you know, it's like it said, a lot of people, they don't know what they're going to vote on these things yet. They're going to see it for the first time because nobody is, or not no one, but fewer people pick up their voting forms and fewer people have picked up the books and read actually what it's about. They're going to wait right there to that day. So the message you're right about these commercials, the message needs to get out. The message needs to be out. Yeah. And, and I think our community, out of all of we have enough I'm just, I'm just going to put the feelers out to uh, Hitman Dougie and to be real. Will you guys pay yeah. for TV commercials, please, for No Prop 64? Yep. I'm going we'll to get that message. Say I'm the guy at Cannabis Cup. That was a great time. Hell yeah, yeah Cannabis Cup. Yeah, I know everyone went to the... I know that... Um, everyone went to the other event, but the Cannabis Cup actually was fairly interesting this time. The attendance was down... Uh, not near as many people as the last. That's because we were stuff. all we were all having fun at Kushstock because way better. I know. Well, I, I you the know, only I thing that look look, I just, look I just your answer is biased for for high times because 
the only thing fun about high times is for people like us to go and harass the yes on Prop 64 people. Oh, and there was a lot of harassment going on. That's the only thing fun about high time. They actually, they, they were trying to do something different. They had a live grow there this last time. Live cultivation. Yeah, I, I went in there, but I mean, at the end of the day, we don't we don't promote high times. No, I'm yeah, not saying it was beneficial by any means. I'm so, just saying. With that being yeah, said, yeah. let's promote the companies that do support no on um, Prop 64. Well, it's, so it's let's shout movie. out. I would like to say thank you to right uh, Bernard for very calling strong, in. Very strong, very active in that no on 64. Quite a few people were actually no on 64 while I was there. Yep. So that message yep. was getting out as well. Well, Bernard, i got to wrap up the show, and uh, thank you for calling in. Later, and, Gator. Uh, we will see you. Hopefully you can make it for the 11-4 show, the last one. I think it's like two more weeks. Nice. And uh, I will do my best to get down. You can talk all you want. Yay. I'm getting high, too. Anyway, have a great night, good fellas. Thank all you. Right, brother. you have a safe Later, guys. All right. Lessons. All right, shout out to uh, Pink Leak and Extracts, SMK Papers, um, Screaming Eagle Cannabis, uh, 502 Oil and Eats, I think. Omega X. 520 Oil and Eats. I get the numbers confused. Uh, thank you, Jesse Lopez. Um, Jesse Lopez, I haven't, met, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting up with man. him yet, but I, I love his work and I love his message. Man. Like some good, people, man. some people's work. I just I don't I can't put it into words. I don't even know if I can call it work. That man loves what he does, and I, my grandma used to that say that dude looks you, out for us. If in you love way. what you do, you never work a day in your life. Man, and that man is. So thank you for good. taking care of us, bro. Thank you, Jerry. Jerry K. Jerry K. Bro, you've been putting in some work for the team this week. Thank you. Be real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've been put. You've been going hard this week. Thank you, sir. Man, Omega Extracts. We ate all them pills, sir. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> if those pills are amazing, we appreciate Definitely them though. Amazing. They help with the P. Like I don't, I don't know. I'm not diagnosed with PTSD. I just think I have it from everything. They they help keep my anxiety away mm -hmm. more than you anything. You start making some without coconut oil, and we'll start talking. Uh, uh, coconut oil though. My grandma is deathly allergic to coconut, and she really? would love these pills, but I can't. I don't know that kind of stuff. Her. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, another episode, episode 13 of the Hip Hop Show. That means next week is the Halloween show. I don't like holidays, bro. That means I, I have I'm to convince myself to do one of two things. What's that? <laughs> I'm either going to dress up like a girl, or I'm going to put on the Splitterillo costume, or I'm going to put on some other crazy-ass clown makeup, or... Do we got a collar? Why are we wearing these? Man. I don't know why I'm wearing these. I'm crazy. I go there. That's why I'm in this position. Because other people <laughs> tap out and I stick around. I make you deal with me. Thank you for the hip hop show. We out. Roll the cow.
his humanity yet to the bridal chariot. Pick up your own sword and carry it. Seek the shaman walking in the moccasins through every set. Breaking shackles, digging tunnels, and shaking scandals. Remain humble while Rome crumbles. Sitting back and smoking humble in Babylon's concrete jungles. Flip the script, build the pantheon. With my God body, I always spit the truth like prophets. It's a cold world we're living in. I'm sick and tired of the suffering. Being judged by the government. Wake up, it's time to speak out because the way my people live in their right. It's a, it's a cold world we're living in. I'm sick and tired of the suffering. Being judged by the government.